Thank you, please. Thank you, please. <laughs> this is Tiffany. She loves me. Like she's purring. Can you hear it? Proof. She's the most beautiful cat in the world. Some would say she's ugly, but I think she's cute. Meow. Meow. What are you looking at? When I started writing this album, it was my goal to not only have something that was well written, but something that was on par sonically with anything that you would hear on the radio or, or you would hear in a movie. I spent the last three to four years teaching myself how to record and how to mix while at the same time trying to develop my own writing style. And it wasn't until this last year that I finally felt 100% happy with what I'd been creating. And then I thought to myself, okay, I'm ready for people to hear this. Stand in front of you, it's up to you to say If you'd rather pull me in or push away I held your hands when you were close So last night I, uh... <laughs> I wrote another new song Which I wasn't gonna do because, uh... We're mastering in, like, three days and um, I was taking a break from, from uh, I was taking a break from mixing and like working on all this other stuff. And then I, I sat on my phone and I was just playing guitar and I was like, you know, I want, I want to write, just to, just while I'm taking a break, I wanted to write something new. And then I came across this old, uh, this recording I had on my phone from like months ago that had, it was just like just a guitar and a harmonica part. Mm -hmm. And I really liked that part. And then I listened to the rest of it and I was like, man, the rest is crap. <laughs> So I was like, all right, let me rewrite all the vocals and all the lyrics for it because I really like the guitar and the, and the harmonica part was really catchy. And then so sometimes when I write, I'll just plug the guitar in or I'll record the guitar and I'll do it as if I'm like recording a demo just to have it like, you know, have it demoed out because then I, it's the best way to write because I can add stuff on top of it. Yeah. So I started demoing it out and it just kept going and going and going and it got to the point where I was like halfway through the demo <laughs> and I realized... I was like, oh shit, I think, I think I want to put this song on the album too. So, so you add it? yeah, I think I'm going to add it. We got three days until we get this stuff mastered, but, uh, I think the mix is finished. I think it's done. Um, it's like my favorite song on the album now. So <laughs> I'm just, I really want, I want to have it on there. Hello, hello, hello. So this album for me was a huge learning process. And a lot of the decisions I was making while recording and mixing were based on what sounded good to me at that moment. And I think in the long run, it kind of gave the album a signature sound um, that a lot of my future albums won't have and a lot of other people's music won't have. I was able to go through the process of recording and mixing by making decisions based on what sounded good at the time rather than adhering to a specific process. In the long run, I think it ended up being beneficial, and it's kind of an interesting combination of raw music, but then also music that sounds clean and polished. What are we, what are we doing? I'm trying to figure out a thing for this freaking heart buddy boy. And what time is it? How long have we been here? I don't even know. I know what time is it. 3.30. 3.30 in the morning. And we've been here for two hours. I'll figure it out, buddy. You know what, screw this. I'm going back to the telly. It's the third guitar change. <laughs> I freaking dropped the thing on my little toe. Got it, buddy. 
Got it, buddy. Check this out. There you go, buddy. There it is. That's the part. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. We got the stupid intro done. <laughs> I find myself struggling on lyrics a lot. Like, I can always write the melodies really easily, and then I'll always lyrically get. Like, I don't know, I always, I usually get my blocks from lyrics, specifically, I don't know why. I don't think I try, like, I'm afraid to get too lazy, because I feel like songs when lyrics aren't specific end up being kind of bland and boring and, like, blending in with everything else. So I've been forcing myself to write, like, very specific lyrics the last, uh, the last few songs. Because I always write the melodies first, I'll just sing, like, da-da-da's or whatever, mm -hmm. and the chord progression, and then, so then it's like, you, you're a little bit more restricted, because then you're actually finding words to fit those specific melodies rather than if I feel like you wrote poetry first or something and then try to turn that into a song which I've tried to do but I, I don't know I can't do it it's hard I can do it but it's feels it feels uncomfortable which I should probably force myself to do it more some harmonies but I'm thinking a melody like I saw something na -na -na -na, and you might fall down Coming home again Not just for a friend Something like that So I started writing Beacon Hill about two years ago And at that point it was a completely different set of songs It was pretty much a different album um, I would write one new song, record it, and then knock off the weakest of the first set and then I'd write another song and then knock off the second weakest and so on and so forth. Fantastic. And then before I knew it, I had completely rewritten the entire album. Yeah, should, it gets... we, should we that last chorus after that breakdown verse? I mean, I'm sorry, after the breakdown verse going into the last chorus, would it take away from the, the, uh, the downbeat of the, the chorus if we hit? Uh, uh, get that shit. Um, should we hit that or um, should we leave it alone? Do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just that last one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, I can hear it. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah, if I could easily take that beat out. What's the lyric? Let's be pushing.
I got to the point where I had recorded demos for every single song. Um, That's a B? <laughs> yeah, just a B, don't come yeah, We're focused on you. These won't hurt you if they're not threatened. That's true, all right, all right. So I started writing Beacon Hill about two years ago, and at that point it was a complete...